Hey, I'm Rich from NeoWind. Today we are unboxing the Windows version of the Lenovo Yoga Book. Now, this is going to be a little different than I usually do it. Normally, I try to go into reviews blind. I don't read any reviews about the product. Um, some of these companies send me a reviewer's guide. I don't read them. And I try to use it for about a week. I see how it goes. I learn what I can on my own. And then I'll go through the reviewer's guide and I'll find out everything I can. And just to see, because when you use this thing, if you go buy it, you're not going to have a reviewer's guide. You're not going to have anything like that. You might have a couple product reviews, hopefully one on NeoWin, but that's all you're going to have. So, so I try to give it at least a week before I find any additional information. Now, last week or a couple weeks ago, I unboxed the, the Android version of this. So since then, I've read the reviewer's guide. I know pretty much everything about this product, except I haven't used the, the Windows one yet. So obviously, I know more now. Um, obviously, it offers productivity on the go. That's what it promises. Now, I looked at this as a laptop uh, the first time I did it, um, or at least a two-in-one. Um, that's the thing. It's not really a laptop. Because, or I, I looked at it as an innovative type of laptop, something new at least, because if you haven't seen it, there is no standard keyboard. It's just, Lenovo isn't even calling it a, a two-in-one, or maybe they're calling it a two-in-one, but mainly it's a tablet. So you have some devices, like say the Surface Book. The Surface Book is primarily a laptop, but you can also use it, you can also pull the top off and it's a tablet. There's um, other laptops, there, I mean, there's thicker laptops where you can just bend the screen back like this, and that's still a primary laptop. This is primarily a tablet. And in using the Android version, I found myself mostly using it as a tablet because unlike most devices that, are, that have this form factor, this is actually really comfortable to use as a tablet. All right, so we're going to take a look at what else is in the box. All right, we have um, the, what is it called? The... I don't remember what it's called, but um, this is actual paper, believe it or not. Um, and what that does is you put it on top of the, the touchscreen keyboard, and you can write on top of it. And you will actually be writing on the paper, and it will those will actually show up in OneNote, which for this, it should be OneNote. They have a special Notes app that they made just for the Android version, but the Windows app does use OneNote. Okay? So this is the pen in here, All right? And we can see that this comes off, and we have um, it's Wacom, and you're gonna use the the Wacom. Oh, and there's also pen tips, which are ballpoint ballpoint pen tips, which is are meant for writing on this this stack of paper here. So since the pen uses Wacom. Um, it doesn't require any batteries. It will never need to be recharged. Um, there's a SIM pin. That's for removable storage. So it's, I guess, a removable storage pin. All right. Um, just some instructions in here. Nothing really exciting. Uh, we've got the pen. We're going to we're gonna find the charger in here. Nothing in here. And then that's it. All right. Um, it charges via micro USB. So there's that keyboard now, that touchscreen keyboard. Okay, and we can see that um, the keys are different from what you see on the Android version, all right? It's very different. This is a Windows-style keyboard. And it's a different touchpad as well. These borders are meant to um, left-click and right-click, and they don't have that on the Android model, although you can, I guess, just tap in the middle there. So it comes signed in. You know, I just unboxed the Spectre X360. That came signed in as well. So we can just see the, the power cable here. This is our, this is our micro USB cable. Um, uh, power adapters in there too on the other side. And I was, I was really surprised when I first got this to find out that it's micro USB because most modern flagship type devices like this would be USB-C. Um, so this one is not, and that's a little, a little surprising to hear. So it has the exact same specs as the Android model, 64 gigs of storage, 4 gigs of RAM, Intel Atom processor. Um, you can see that there is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there. 
Um, there is no standard USB ports. All right, we've got HDMI and we've got micro USB over here. That is it. And there's your expandable storage slot right there too. So that's it. Um, if you want a standard HDMI port, you're probably gonna wanna get an adapter and you can get them pretty cheap. Um, I got mine a long time ago for like 80 cents on Amazon or something and I bought like a bunch of them. So it's a standard micro USB to USB type A adapter. They're out there everywhere. Um, and that should work just fine. Um, otherwise, if you want to use a mouse with this thing, you got to get a Bluetooth mouse. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the Windows version of the Yoga Book. And I'll have a review on that in a few weeks. I should have the review of the Android version, hopefully this weekend. If not, definitely next weekend. Um, and then there's other reviews coming up. I got plenty coming up. There's, um, there's lots of cool stuff coming up on NeoWin. There's the uh, LG V20 is coming up. The Alcatel Idol 4S with Windows 10, HP Elite X3. We just unboxed the HP Spectre X360. And that's just the stuff that I'm working on. We got tons of stuff. Lots of guys working on great reviews. And um, so, yeah, just um, check back and we'll have some cool stuff for you. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.